The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors. With so many people living longer, the fear of outliving your money becomes a reality for many of us. Will I be a financial burden? Will I outlive my money? How will I be remembered? My name is Neil Himmelstein, president of Main Street Planning Group. Please contact me by visiting MainStreetPlanningGroup.com. That's MainStreetPlanningGroup.com or call 631-647-4694. I will introduce you to strategies that will guarantee you will not outlive your money, that can guarantee you will not be a burden on your loved ones. Through a collaborative approach, we will uncover solutions that offer tax-efficient strategies, lifetime income, and legacy planning. Choice, organization, direction, and education. That is the code we stand behind. Contact MainStreetPlanningGroup.com That's MainStreetPlanningGroup.com or call 631-647-4694. And listen to me every Friday at 3 p.m. as I host the Main Street Code for Financial Success right here on 103.9 LI News Radio. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I'm your host, Neil Himmelstein. You can always reach me at 631-647-4694 or visit me at themainstreetcode.com. Well, when we talk about our code, we talk about choice, organization, direction, and education. And we work with hundreds of advisors across the United States, financial advisors with their insurance as a wholesaler, uh, and accountants and attorneys that reach out to us, whether it's a buy-sell agreement or they need to change and put your policy inside a trust or all these kinds of different things, insurance-related. And we help you, the client, in any of your insurance questions and needs. And we like to be your quarterback. If you have any financial situations, you need a good team to work with you, whether it be an accountant, attorney, financial advisor, an insurance expert. We like to help put them all together for you to help you in your plans. And you should have a team. And if you don't have a team, let us help you guide you to some of the right people to work with. Today, we are very, very fortunate to have with us Eric Calderon from, name of your firm? Brinster and Bergman. And how can they get a hold of you if they want to get a hold of you? Um, You can reach me in the office. My number is 516-766-4800. I'm at extension 175. Or you can email me at ecalderon at bbcpa.biz. Fantastic. And Erica is a CPA, and she has been for 25 years, and very successful firm, and a very successful person. Thank you. And she specializes in a lot of different areas. And, you know, Erica, today I want to talk to you about, you know, how does someone pick an accountant? Because I, I, I tell you, you know, I recently had a, a couple of people reach out to me, some listeners. Uh, they had farms, because we did a whole segment on farms and this and that. And they were saying their accountant, who they've had for years, or their parents' accountant, uh, all of a sudden has now joined a firm uh, like Markham, uh, you know, one of these big firms you hear on TV. Yep. And, and it's a trend of the industry yep. has been going towards mega firms or or they have H&R Block or they, you know, tell me a little bit about what you think about that. Yeah. So I think part of what's happening is as, as the population is getting older, a lot of the accountants are starting to think about succession planning and retiring. And the best place for them to go is to a bigger firm so that they have a place, you know, some place to retire to, somebody that's going to be able to take over their clients and things like that. But with a bigger firm, sometimes you don't always get the same kind of service that you got with your sole practitioner or a smaller firm. You know, somebody who's a little more hands-on, knows your business a little better, um, is just able to to sit with you more on a one-to-one level and, and reach out to you. And that's a lot of what we do and a lot of why our clients love us. Um, we spend time with all of our clients. Uh, we know all of them. We know all their businesses. We're able to help them, guide them, plan with them. Um, you know, everybody's lives, everything's always changing. You have different needs at different points in your life, um, different points in your business. And we understand all of that and, and work with everybody. And that that's crucial. So so I always say if I want to work with somebody, whether it's an accountant, attorney, or something else, my first criteria is I have to like them. <laughs> you know? Yep. I think it's important. Absolutely. And I have to have some familiarity. Yep. If you're dealing with my finances, 
whether you're doing my accounting work or something, I want to know who it is. So if you're one of these people that think they can do their tax return on the internet and then later run into issues um, or buy insurance in the air or do a will over the internet, absolutely the wrong thing to do. It 100%. ends up costing you a fortune when you screw up or do things <laughs> in the wrong way. Yep. Um, so we recommend that you use a CPA. I always say a CPA is like having an insurance policy on my tax return because, is that right? I mean, Absolutely. they have to do the answer. If there's any Absolutely. questions to anything I do, yep. you give it to my CPA, they handle it. I don't want to deal with the IRS. Yep. There's been so many changes to the tax laws. I mean, even within the last five years, every year there's something different. Something comes out. There's no way that everybody can keep up on everything. I mean, we go to annual classes, keep up on the CPEs. We're constantly learning all the new changes. Um, right. And if you don't know that, and if you don't have somebody good that knows that, then you run the risk of missing out on opportunities. You know, 100%. As a matter of fact, I had to fire my accountant recently, a couple years ago, because I had knowledge of a lot of things that he wasn't telling me about for my own business. And I was highly infuriated that I have to tell him, and he was a CPA, but he yeah. wasn't communicating me. Oh, that yeah. program's, no, that doesn't apply to you. Yeah. Well, actually it did. Yeah. And it cost me thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. for not giving me the right information. Yep. And not only that, for those of you who think that you can just drop your tax return off at an H and R block and this and that. These are not CPAs. Right. They are trained just to fill out a form, but not find out about what your interests are and what your things are. Right. And and I'm speaking particularly to somebody who <laughs> I actually bumped into, who has a farm, who ran into this, and he says, "I I really need a new accountant." Right. So Neil, can you recommend a new accountant? And who am I going to recommend? A, I want to recommend somebody you can trust. Uh, absolutely. Somebody you like. And somebody who's going to really talk to you about your situation. I think that's vital. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So how do you find that person? I mean, how does that someone, you can't go to a phone book and Google account. I mean, you'll go forever. So a lot of times you'll go to somebody that you know and trust, Yep. and they will refer you. And I think that's a great way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all of our business comes from referrals. We don't really market, you know, all our clients refer us work. All our new clients come from clients that we have. That's our reputation. That's what we, you know, what we thrive on. We want everybody to like us enough that they want to send us all their friends. And well, I only met you once on the <laughs> internet. And I got to tell you, I like you. Right. Thank you. And what I like about going on their website, unlike many accounts, so many accountants that I meet are very transactional in nature. The same as attorneys. There are so, f you know, I'm not going to say there's few, there's good and bad and everything. Yep. But even doctors, you know, who are the best doctors? They're not the best technicians. Right. Necessarily. They got to have a bedside manner. Absolutely. They have to tell you what's going on. Yep. I mean, I had a doctor who was technically one of the best doctors for what I needed at the time. And luckily, I had doctors behind the scene. I had the worst bedside manner in the world, but it was okay because I had my backup. Yep. But I got to tell you, you got to keep people informed as to what's going on. I think it's Absolutely. so vital. And you have to work with people that are going to work with you and be part of your team. Yep. It's your finances that you're dealing with, not theirs. Yep. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Right. So the perspective of how to pick an account is you want first... I like to work with people that I like. Mm -hmm. Second qualification, I like to work with people that I trust. Yep. So like, trust, and when it comes to me, I want to know that they're not going to go behind my back. I need to trust them. Yep. And I'll ask them up front if I can't trust them or if I think they're going to run away somewhere else. Then that's no good. Right. So you have to like and trust who you work with. Absolutely. And Erica, I like and trust immediately. Thank you. <laughs> and Erica was referred to me by an attorney who I like and trust, who's been on my radio show, yep. who people have called in afterwards, and we're working with together yep. on their estate plans. Yep. And she's a great person. And she and I actually work together also on estate and trust planning, because I also do some trust work, too. And that's so. huge. Yep. So, you know, we get involved with the trust with life insurance and everything else. So, so I think it's very important, because... You know, one of the great things about life insurance, it's a very tax-efficient vehicle. Yep. Um, 
A, for businesses, it gives you a lot of leverage where I can secure something so that my children or my partners can be paid off and it can stay in my family. Yep. And B, uh, it's tax deferred. And C, I could set it up as a pension, my own private pension, where yep. I could take money out tax-free. Yep. I and mean, it's all these great advantages. Yep. And having an accountant that understands that and knows that and works with the product. I don't like, I hate people that are product salespeople. Right. You want to be a planning person. Right. You need to, everything's got to work for you in, in it integrated plan with with the account absolutely and tax planning is also so important and absolutely. it's something that we do with every one of our clients absolutely yep. well you're listening to the main street code for financial success and my guest is erica calderon how can they get a hold of you erica uh you can call me in the office 516-766-4800 extension 175 and you can always reach me at 631 647 Four six nine four or the mainstreetcode.com. I welcome your questions and comments, and we're going to be right back after this commercial. Thanks again. Thanks. Welcome back to the Main Street Code for financial success. I'm your host Neil Himmelstein. Again, if you need to reach me, six three one six four seven. 4694 and I'm with Erica Calderon. She's with Brinster and Bergman. Brinster and Bergman. I'm sorry I don't have my notes in front of me. That's and I, all right. <laughs> I, I can't even remember my last name sometimes so <laughs> so it's all good and Erica's a, a CPA with a, 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 a firm that does a wide variety of things. Um, they're the kind of firm I like to work with because they work with people and they're not just there for that one time you do your taxes. They're f- there for you all year round, if you have any questions, any yep. situation, should I buy a car? Should I lease a car? Should I buy this equipment? Should I lease this equipment? Uh, I need to put a buy-sell together. How do I do that? Yes, you can talk to us, but talk to them. Yep. You know, there's forensic account. There's all kinds of things that go in, so it's very important. Yeah. And some of the areas they specialize are particularly um, every CPA firm, uh, they have... Sometimes they have niches, like I have niches. There's certain areas that I'm an expert in yep. because I start working with specific clients in a certain area, and all of a sudden that balloons into a whole other area of expertise. For yep. instance, yep. you may not know this, <laughs> I do back office work for 250 fire departments. Very nice. And doing annuity work. Okay. So I know a lot about annuities, and they rely on me to, to give them advice on what's the best annuity for these fire departments. and. And I act as a vendor for them, okay. and I get them the right product. So that's that's an area I've done. I've also done some work with some farms on Long Island. Mm-hmm. And we had the Farm Bureau here, and we talked about the, the president of the Farm Bureau spoke a couple times. He's a he's a listener and love the guy. And, you know, we're doing some work with, with farms. They have some unique issues and problems. Yep. Um, like every industry has unique issues and areas that you need to understand. So. Uh-huh. Sometimes I don't know everything. I like to bring in accounts. I like to bring attorneys. I want to bring in the people that are experts in whatever area you're in. Yep. And one of the areas you specialize is healthcare. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. So particularly we specialize in home health care and agencies and issues that are related to those agencies. So the agencies are so important, um, especially as the population is aging. We want to be able to keep our parents and our grandparents at home, have them be taken care of, not go into a facility. And home care agencies are so vital to that. Um, and their owners are there because they really want to help the population. So we, you know, it's an area that I, I hold near and dear to me because I feel that they're all doing such a great job for the communities that they're in. And um, a lot of what we do is we help them with um, reporting requirements that Department of Health requires of them. Um, we get involved in um, legislative things that they need to work on, such as wage parity, which is a big issue that's been out now. Sure. Um, we get involved with um, lobbying for the state budget with them. Um, and you know, any other accounting work that they might need, tax work, financial statements, audits. Um, so important. Yep. So as I've said on many, many programs, and, and everyone knows I'm a big advocate for long-term care insurance and different types of long-term care insurances. Yep. And I want to repeat it because you need to understand that this is something you need to plan for. Absolutely. It's two out of three, 70% of every person 
in New York, in the United States, by percentage, over the age of 65, will need some sort of long-term care. Yep. Now, staying at home is the best option. We all want to stay at home if we can. Absolutely. And it's so important. So not only that, but when we need this care, this is care that health insurance doesn't cover. This is for activities of daily living, whether it be dressing, whether it be transporting, you know, all these food shopping, different yep. food shopping, all these things that we, we're going to need help with at some point. Yep. It's almost inevitable. Now, once we have a parent or a relative or it could be, you know, Siblings, it could be somebody of 50. Yeah. And believe it or not, mental, yep. Alzheimer's, yep. mental issues, when the claim side is over 51% of all the claims is due to mental, not just physical. It's yeah. not like, oh, I broke my hip. It's a lot of mental, long-term yeah. mental issues, yep. forgetting things, people can't drive anymore, or they drive and they drive off into space and yep. keep going, yep. like I do sometimes, it's not good. <laughs> Uh, we don't want to talk about that. Um, but <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, it's a huge, huge issue. And yeah. it's a very expensive issue financially. Yes. So the other 30% of us, whether we're caregiving for an, a parent or a sibling or a spouse, uh, is affected yep. financially. Yes, absolutely. Emotionally yep. and everything else. So the home care agency side of it fits in well with where I'm at, because we want to keep everybody at home. Yep. Yes, we want to pre-fund it with some sort of insurance planning, yeah. if we can. Yep. Uh, if not, there's legal planning, Yep. but we can help you in all those areas. Yep. And then there's this whole other area of making sure that you have good people to come in your house, do the right thing, people you can trust. Absolutely. And people that are the correct people. And, and yeah. Erica's firm specializes and she talks about it and she she's with these firms she knows the firm she can help guide a little bit it's not her area of expertise to put you in the right firm but it's good to know absolutely i can i can absolutely refer somebody if they need it to an agency i know who's out there yeah. you know like i said we work with these agencies so no, you know we know what they it's do important. it's and, very important and and that's how how Business work is yep. really getting to know the right people to do yes. the right thing and putting the right pieces together. So long-term care is a huge issue. Um, I'm actually on a national legislative board. There's a lot of legislation going on. As a matter of fact, uh, what recently passed in New York State, uh, this is like fresh off the, fresh off the wire, um, is a new transparency law yes. for when companies want to raise the prices. Yep. So the companies have to directly... Uh, give you 90 days notice if they're going to raise prices. And if you get these letters and you're not prepared for your long-term care policy that you may have purchased and done the right planning, mm -hmm. and you're not prepared for that cost increase, call Main Street Planning Group, call me, because there are things you can do to alter your policy, maybe, uh, that can keep you uh, in your home mm -hmm. and prepared. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people have bought these compounding benefits. They may have the like this huge benefit they really don't need to keep right. compounding. It yep. may be big enough right now. Yep. And maybe they can get rid of that one thing and save themselves a ton of money yep. in their current policy. Yep. And or a lot of times we transition people into more of the hybrid policies that we have now if they're insurable and if they're, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But that's another option. So it's, it never say die. Nope. But don't sit there and wait for the price to come up and you can't afford it no. and then drop it, Yeah, which is the worst thing because then next month you need it or next year you need it or in two years you need it and then you'll really see the money go. Right. Um, yeah, so, absolutely. So, so Very important. important. But anyhow, New York did pass that. We're also on the board because New York doesn't have as much product as they have outside. They don't have as many solutions. Correct for that like they do outside New York. Correct. Um, so. And that's why I think they rely on these agencies also to help get the care out to everybody because they don't Absolutely. have the, the ability to do that. So there's a lot going on in that world and there's a lot going on in that world from a governmental standpoint yes. because the number one supplier of what we call long-term care insurance is the government. It's called 
Medicaid. Mm-hmm. And to go on Medicaid, yep. you basically have to impoverish yourself. Yes. But you can plan for that. You can plan for that. Plan and there are that. legal moves for that. Absolutely. And New York is heavily reliant on Medicaid. And it's a big part of the budget. And the state and federal have to pay for that. Yep. And listen, you put it in their hands, they're going to dictate where you go, who you use, what you do, how many days a week, yep. and this and that. Yep. You can control your own destiny by absolutely. preparing ahead of time. Absolutely. So, and there's so much planning that you can do for it. Absolutely. So much. And, and that's kind of what we do. Yep. So um, in summation, you work and you also give courses to accountants. Yep. Yep, we do mostly in-house courses for our staff, but we have done outside courses for which CPE is, credits. Which is great. I yes. mean, they're they're experts in what they do. To be able to teach what you do to other CPAs gives them a leg up on, you want that yeah. knowledge. Yes, That's absolutely. Huge. Yep. So you're listening to the Main Street Code for Financial Success, and I'm with Eric Carteron a terrific CPA. How can they get hold of you again? Uh, You can reach me in the office, 516-766-4800, extension 175. And again, thank you for coming today and listening. And if you miss my broadcast, you can always catch me on Spotify. Catch me on Apple Podcasts, if you like, called Main Street Code for Financial Success. Or just give me a call, 631-647-4694. Summer is here. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors.